So, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel and today I am about to tell you how to get an ID card in Korea. I should say that it's a must and you can't be in Korea for a long time if you don't have an ID card. Because an ID card is some kind of a passport. All the people in Korea, they have their ID cards. And also if you're a foreigner, if you're planning to stay in Korea for a long time, not just for two weeks or for one month, you have to have your ID card. You will use it if you, for example, need to go to a bank to open your bank account or if you need to get your uh, Korean phone number then you will need your ID card so you definitely have to make it and of course I will tell you about my story how I made my ID card and what mistakes I made as always as usual so let's get to the story but before starting to tell you my story about how I got my ID card in Korea I will have to tell you about the way of communication in Korea so as some of you may know that Korean use this kind of a messenger which is called Kakao Talk. Uh, through Kakao Talk you can contact your friends and family, anyone. But Kakao Talk is not only about this. For Korean people, Kakao Talk is like the whole world. Through Kakao Talk you can order a taxi, you can send a gift, you can, uh, you know, use a coupon for some free coffee at the Starbucks or uh, some other coffee shop. Anyway, it's more than just a messenger. So when I got to Korea to start my Korean language program, the teacher, the professor, the main teacher, I don't know who ever it was, he just uh, got our Kakao Talk accounts and he got us to one, uh, you know, general chat. For, uh, for the first chat was for all the students of Gyeongbok University. The second chat was for those who study at their little, you know, group, for example level one level two where we share our homework and ask questions to our teachers because they also are in this uh, little chat so i want to tell you if you're planning to come to korea to study korean the same way as me uh, through korean language program you will have to have your account and kakao talk because you will have to communicate with teachers and with other students so you will definitely have to make your kakao talk account so i came to korea my quarantine already finished and it's been already two weeks since my study started and then one girl who is actually a manager she's also a student of a korean language program just like all of us but she's also working as a helper of the main teacher of the professor i don't know how to call her so she is a manager let's say so she contacts with students she shares some uh, important information with us also through Kakao Talk, she sent a message saying that we have to come to uh, the university, find her and get our documents for an ID card. Just to explain you, to get an ID card, first you need to gather all the uh, documents. What are these documents? First of all, it's a um, printed copy of your passport. The passport, I mean this passport which you use when you go to abroad. So they don't need your passport that you use in your home country. And also you will need to make a photo. And uh, the size of the photo is like three and a half centimeter to four and a half centimeter. And this photo should be colorful. And actually, here's a little tip for you. If you want to save a little money in Korea, I would recommend you to prepare these photos in your home country and bring them with you to Korea. And I would recommend you to make maybe around uh, 10 photos because you will use them later for preparing some other documents not only for id card but in the future trust me you will need the photos also you will need a printed copy of your house contract when you come to korea of course you will have to find some place to stay somewhere you're gonna leave especially if you don't have a dormitory in your university but if you have a dormitory in your university if you live in a dormitory of your university then i guess that the university will have to prepare some kind of a document or a contract proving that you live in a dormitory so you don't have to worry about it i think the university will give you this document and also for an id card you will need a bunch of other documents that the university will have to give you don't care about 
about this the university knows really well what documents they have to give so just don't worry about it so these are the documents that you have to prepare to apply for an id card but the thing is that before we get this document we have to pay for medical insurance medical insurance is a must in korea if you come here to study you will have to make a medical insurance you will have to pay for it in my university for example we just had to bring cash we gave it to this girl and she gathered all the money and she sent it to the bank account and she gave us our documents for an id card i should say that the amount of money that you pay for insurance is different for every student it depends on what country are you coming from and how old you are and also it depends on your gender so for example there was one guy he had a question about it he said something like this i'm actually really happy that i have to pay less money for my insurance but please can you explain me why this girl manager she answered something like because you're a guy and guys usually don't get sick uh, as as often as girls so that's why you pay less so kind of if you are a girl you have to pay more and if you're a guy you have to pay less if i'm not mistaken i paid maybe around 104 thousand korean won or maybe 134,000 Korean won. Anyway, something around this. But if you think that you just prepare the documents, you just go to an immigration office and apply for an ID card, no, this is not that easy. First of all, before visiting an immigration office, you have to make an online reservation because there are so many foreigners in Korea and everybody goes to an immigration office like all the time. There are many people in the immigration office all the time. Actually, when I saw this message about online reservation i didn't pay much attention to it and also it was in the morning and i was busy i thought that i will go back home in the evening so i will do all this and that was my first mistake actually because when i came back home in the evening and i tried to make an online reservation i saw that there were no free dates i could make an online reservation only after two weeks so i got the date of my reservation after two weeks and i had to wait for these two weeks and here i would tell you how the whole process happens so when you make an online reservation you have your number and you have a time uh, when you have to come to an immigration office i would recommend you to come maybe 20 minutes before your reservation so that you could have a seat prepare your documents uh, easy without any hurry and you can just look around and see what is where so i came to an immigration office i sat in front of the manager i gave her the documents and she was checking them and then she got to this uh, printed copy of my contract house contract as i already told you here in korea i live with my boyfriend in his house and uh, of course the contract was made on his name this manager she just looked at the copy she saw my name and she saw the name in this contract and she was like who is this who is this guy actually i didn't tell her that it's my boyfriend i just said that this is my korean friend and he helped me to make the contract in korea because i am a foreigner i don't really know korean so he helped me i don't really like how people react when I tell that I have a Korean boyfriend because usually Korean people were like oh here is another girl with Korean boyfriend oh. uh, of course Korean people don't say anything like this out loud but I just see their face expression and I kind of think that they think something like this so I don't really like this reaction so that's why I don't say about this in some official governmental offices so anyway I explained that this is my friend but here I made my first mistake when she asked me who is this I answered that this is my friend and suddenly I don't know why I said it in Korean I didn't say it in English like this is my friend I said chingu a friend so the manager heard that I said a Korean word and of course she thought that I know Korean and she suddenly started to speak Korean that's it so this was my first mistake i was planning to speak only english to pretend that i don't know any korean because sometimes these governmental officers uh they may use some uh korean words that i don't know and especially with the documents i don't know everything uh all the names of the documents so i would never understand it if they uh, talk about it in korean so that's why i wanted to speak english but suddenly i said a korean word so i said that this is my friend uh, and then she asked me another question and i understood the meaning of her question only maybe five minutes later uh, it turned out that she asked me oh did you come together did you come with your friends 
and I said yes why i don't know i said yes but actually i came alone my boyfriend was busy he had work so he couldn't come with me so she find out another paper another document and she said your friend has to fill in this paper because this is his contract here is his name in this contract house contract so he has to fill in this paper and so she said your friend fills in this document then you pay for an id card that's it go and then she just stopped talking obviously showing me that i have to go and she has to call another person and i was like what should i do now i don't know i have a problem i just didn't have anything to do i just found this atm machine i just paid for an id card i got the receipt and that's it and also about paying for an id card yes you have to pay for your id card it's some kind of a fee id card fee i guess and yeah you have to bring with you maybe around thirty thousand one. actually there are two prices you pay thirty thousand one if you are planning to uh, come back to an immigration office and get your id card by yourself and the second option you will pay thirty four thousand one if you want your id card to be delivered to your address but i wanted to save some money and i just paid thirty thousand one. so there was nothing else to do i paid for an id card and then i just went back home i was just so confused and really disappointed about myself you just give away the papers you wait for two weeks and then you get your id card that's it it's not hard but i was just so disappointed that i went there alone and i couldn't do this alone i had to bring my boyfriend with me and i needed his help and i was just so sad i cried a lot really and when he came back home after his work he was trying to make me calm but it was hard so he signed this paper and then i had to come to an immigration office again to give away my papers but as you remember before coming to an immigration office you have to make an online reservation so i had to do this again and again there were free dates only after two more weeks I had to wait for two more weeks can you imagine this so the evening before I had to go to an immigration office I was checking all the documents is everything okay uh, did I forget something or not I got everything ready but I couldn't find my passport I don't know where I put my passport I just couldn't find it and I just was like really in a panic then the boyfriend when he came after work in the evening he also tried to help me but it, we just couldn't find it anywhere and yes guys it it was just so stupid but i had to skip my reservation to an immigration office but actually the second day after this i found it what is this i don't know how to call it i think it's just stupidness so i had to make an online reservation again and of course how you may guess there was a free date only after two more weeks and i was really disappointed because there is a rule that you have to apply for an id card within your first 90 days after you came to korea and when i made this last reservation the date was too late for me so it was after the 90 days so the thing is that if you don't apply for an id card within these 90 days you may have a penalty yeah you will have to pay for it but then after i made this reservation i thought that hmm maybe i have to check the dates one more time because anything can happen in our lives maybe some person made a reservation and then he cancelled it maybe something happened and he will not come so i thought that maybe i should check the dates again and finally i found one date maybe one week earlier than my original date i cancelled my last reservation and uh, made the new one for an earlier date so i finally came to an immigration office i got all the documents that they needed i gave away the documents gave away the receipt for paying for an id card and then she gave me another paper this paper you will use when you will go to an immigration office to get your id card on this paper you have a date when exactly you have to come and she also told me to go to another manager uh, to make my fingerprints so that was it i made my fingerprints and i got this paper and then after two weeks of waiting i came back to an immigration office i just gave away my paper and they gave me my id card that's it that's the whole process and i already told you about my mistakes that i made so i hope you guys won't make these mistakes and also i have another tip i think it's more like a recommendation 
information if you go to an immigration office for the first time and if you don't really know Korean please come with somebody who knows Korean well maybe it can be your foreign friend or other student who knows Korean well or if you have a Korean friend or girlfriend or boyfriend I would recommend you to come together so I think that is basically it and actually I thought about telling you about how to get a Korean phone number and also how to make your bank account in Korea because these two things are really important especially the phone number because I had some situations when I had to use my Korean phone number but I still don't have it so I had problems because of this so please write in the comments if you want to know about it and I will make another video so thank you for watching thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video bye bye